Indian students have tremendous future ahead. They can play a very important role in managing corporations, multinational companies in the future. Why I am saying it? Because when I am training as an Indian student here, I am not alone to teach. There is a lot that he has learned from Indian culture, Indian wisdom, Indian heritage from his surroundings, which has built in him the spirit of tolerance, the ability to understand diversity, the ability to appreciate nature, the ability to appreciate uh, different ideologies. These are some things which make Indian students suitable for the future because when they would work in the companies, they would be able to adjust, adapt and appreciate the diversity among people. They would be able to understand that employees come from different backgrounds, different ideologies and they would be able to appreciate them, understand them, respect them. These are some of these qualities which will help Indian students tremendously in the years to come in the era of globalization. I belong to a very small city called Bikanir. And in my city, you'll find a Hindu understanding Urdu Ramayan from Muslims, trying to understand what is Ramayan in Urdu from Muslims. Similarly, we had a person in my city who used to teach even Malvis about Quran. He was a Hindu. He used to teach others. He was an expert in Urdu. This is a great country. You can find Muslim poets like Rahim asking people, Gahi Saranagati Ram ki Bhavsagar ki na. Yani, a Muslim poet Rahim is asking people that become follower of Ram so that you are able to get rid of the cycle of birth and death. Similarly, you can find people from different ideologies, different philosophies, ultimately giving same idea, that is spirituality. The spirituality is built in fabric of Indian life, Indian wisdom, and that has helped people in developing a very broad framework. People appreciate different ideologies, different cultures. And in Indian wisdom, Indian philosophy, Indian heritage, Indian culture, a lot of such ideas are there which help people in becoming a successful and impact-making person. Now, by success, I am not talking about materialistic success. I am talking about a great leader. By success, I mean a person is able to become a good leader. And someone who is a good leader? A leader, someone who is able to connect well with the people. For example, simple slokas, Doha, like Kabir's Doha, so widely popular among masses. For example, Aisi Bani Boliye, Manka Apa Khoi, Auran Ko Sheetal Kare, Apa Ko Sheetal Hoi. It means, when you speak with a person, you speak in such a way that you lose your ego, you are able to connect well with others, you are able to establish rapport with others, you are able to establish unity with others. This is a very powerful statement of Kabir, which was given some maybe about uh, 800 years back. Now this statement is so powerful that it gives you understanding of life, communication, power of communication, what we cannot teach in business communication today has been told by Kabir. And there are many such statements which are spread out in Indian wisdom. And these are taught to the students in families, in societies. They have been, you know, trained in these kinds of cultural environment. In fact, students coming from rural areas may not be very good in English, but don't judge them on their English. They are outstanding in all these things because they have been trained from childhood through some cultural program or through other means. They have been trained in Indian wisdom. They have been trained in Indian culture. They have been trained in Indian heritage. And that is their power. 
if you just judge them on the basis of their pronunciation on the basis of their english you are wrong judge them on the basis of their broader understanding judge them on their mind mind horizon you will find they are very tolerant very uh, diversity loving people they are adaptable they are able to adjust in any situation and these are the qualities that will make them great managers great leaders wherever they will work they will be able to connect with people they will be able to develop people they will be able to transform people transform the organization so that's what organizations are looking for if organizations are hiring people they are not hiring people for present they are hiring people for the future so that they can develop their organization into great organizations so if they are hiring people it would be wrong just to hire people on the basis of the language of the person on the basis of english that okay this person is able to speak english let's select and this person is not able to speak in english therefore don't select that person that's not appropriate you have to build a great organization you have to build an organization where people are able to establish great bondage they are able to serve the society better they are able to create good impact on the society they are able to establish strong relationship with the society so you need to hire people on the basis of broader understanding and therefore if you are hiring people in organization look for indian students look for people coming from rural background in india because they are the people who have who have been trained into indian wisdom and that will help your company in development if they don't know english don't worry about it it can be trained within 3 months maximum 6 months they would be able to speak in english that's not an issue but the most important thing is they will be able to connect with people they will be able to link with people they would be able to appreciate diversity they would be able to appreciate nature you may be having employees coming from different countries but if a person is coming from a rural indian background he would be able to appreciate all of them adjust with all of them and that will make a great leader for you that that person will take your company into a great future into tomorrow